The site of Baconsthorpe was acquired from the Bacon family in the early 15th century by William Baxter, a free yeoman. The earliest castle building, the inner gatehouse, was begun by William's son John, died 1479, a lawyer who had risen to prominence as a supporter and agent of William de la Pole, first Duke of Suffolk. He changed the family name to Hayden to disguise his comparatively lowly origins. During the turbulent Wars of the Roses, 1455-85, to 85, John often switched political allegiances to serve his own means. <clears throat> John's son, Sir Henry Hayden, died 1504, completed and extended the castle, adding the Garden Court in the early 16th century. He was knighted at Henry the seventh coronation in 1485 and held several high responsible positions which gave the family new status and stability and allowed his successors to be peaceful and prosperous landlords. Although the Haydens gained their initial wealth through the legal profession, it was the wool industry that eventually provided the bulk of their wealth. By the Tudor period, Baconsthorpe was established as a vast and profitable wool-producing estate. <clears throat> Sir John Hayden, 1470 to 1550, converted the eastern service range of the castle into a wool processing factory. Large windows provided light for the spinners and weavers to produce cloth. The textile industry brought, have brought considerable prosperity to the Hayden family, whose cloth was sold in both England and the Netherlands. Sir Christopher Hayden, 1518 to, uh, to 19 to, nine, <laughs> so, to 79, once entertained 30 head shepherds of his own flocks at Christmas dinner, which suggests that there there were twenty thousand to thirty thousand sheep on his lands, profits were spent on lavish living and extensive building works during the sixteenth century, including the construction of the outer gatehouse and a park in fifteen sixty one despite the immense wealth they acquired from the wool industry, the Haydens were poor estate managers. Christopher Hayden died in 1579, having accumulated large debts, forcing his son William to sell off parts of Baconsthorpe. Yet the Haydens continued to spend large amounts on the castle in the late 16th or early 17th century. An ornamental mere was created on the east... Yeah. East Arm of the Moat and the formal gardens which have been recorded on the estate were, all, were also probably created at this time. By the mid-17th century, the insolvency of successive Haydens forced them to demolish much of the castle to pay off their extensive debts. The outer gatehouse survived and was converted into a private dwelling known as Baconsthorpe Hall, it remained occupied until 1920, when one of the turrets collapsed. I've taken the text from the English Heritage website. Also on there is parking. There's a free car park at the castle. Access, access is on gravel path and across grass. Some surfaces are uneven and can get muddy during wet weather. Not that at the moment, of course. Uh, access to the inner castle area is through a rather narrow gate. Facilities, there are no facilities at the castle, but the market town of Holt is five miles away. Dogs on leads are welcome. They do an audio tour, and you can plan a day out. Well, we had a day out um, going to Baconsthorpe, then uh, Weybourne North Norfolk Railway, then 
clay by the sea for uh, wildlife and birds.